Zaganum Scepter. So, right odd. Okay, yeah, I dig it. As we look into it, uh, the interesting lane, of course, is going to be the middle lane, wherein it would be. Oh no, yeah, Sp Spirit Breaker is just going to TP out. It's not going to die for us. Since, in fact, we could see Rubik is in trouble, and Fishman is able to successfully draw Bola, uh, drop his blood onto the Rubik, getting a little bit of uh, change in his pocket uh, onto the Weaver. So that should be the end of aggression. No, the aggression, in fact, does not end. Bane. Um, is uh, still moving back into the fight. They don't have any vision for Weaver, so Fishman would be taking a lot of damage. And yes, it is uh, the Elder Titan who is able to eventually get a kill um, onto the Bane. But now, let's see. Now, I don't think they are in a bit of trouble, but uh, yeah, Elder Titan should have enough legs to walk away from the damage. Uh, uh, Weaver will have uh, Swarm available in the next two seconds. In fact, they are able to get a kill onto Storm Spirit even with before the Swarm was committed. That engagement uh, dishing out a little bit of damage, but less than Elder Titan. So that, that shows you the power of Elder Titan. In fact, Weaver is the one going down eventually wherein Bane was still in the area and they are able to get a, you know, snag a kill onto him. So good moves coming out of Entity as well to get a return kill onto the Weaver. Uh, l only losing the Spirit Breaker. Um, right. Uh, tornado EMP combo used. Rubik is in the area. Level 6 or no one. So should be able to walk away. But no, in fact, he wants to stand there and deal as much damage as he can. But to no avail. Uh, as it seems, he ends up giving his life away to Lumpy. Who will have uh, an un charge as well to work with. Uh, Our Lord has kind of went into the jungle now. He has let us level. He has it as level 6. Um... And it could be Fishman who could be in a lot of trouble here. There are three heroes in the vicinity coming out of Beast Coast and they are cruising along this game currently. Uh, the current probability is towards Entity side 72%. Beast Coast was 28. A move into the mid lane now. Uh, Elder Titan could be in a little bit of trouble. Does have uh, no one on top of him. But uh, there is a return kill on to the Spray Breaker as well. Which was snagged by Pangolia. Roll has been committed. Let's see if uh, Storm could be now. In the bottom lane, do we see now? There is a movement onto the Pangolier who does not have his Rolling Thunder currently uh, and uh, does not have his uh, Swashbuckle as well. So eventually would end up giving his life away to no one. So no one is a hero. And dust uh, used onto it. Uh, they are able to get the nether swipe onto the invoker. In fact, could be in a little bit of trouble. Is the first hero to go down, closely followed by Entity. So a nice five-man rotation from Entity and able to get two quick kills. Right, Lumpy is in the area. They are looking for the kill onto the Bane. Uh, they did have uh, the charge onto him is taking a lot of damage. Let's see if they are able to finish off the kill. But no, uh, eventually uh, Fishman is able to walk away from the engagement. Weaver is in the vicinity trying to get the kill. One more last hit needed. No, they don't have the damage. In fact, their Pangolia goes down in the engagement. So, uh, I think three minutes, uh, three th by 3,000, 15 minutes into the game. Uh, Storm Spirit, uh, well, no one has completed his uh, Orchid and now they are able to get it. Okay, so no one is actually getting out of hand. Uh, for Again, uh, it is a little bit of Entity um, kind of leading. However, a couple of kills like this onto the support heroes. A nice uh, lift by Rubik and they would be able to stop the Spirit Breaker in between his charge. A successful coming on, a kill coming on to Lumpy where is they are teeping down to the bottom lane. Let's uh, let's see if they're able to get anything. Again, it is Fishman who is caught in the area. Let's see if they have enough legs in order to finish off the Bane. Does not have any support nearby. There, Well, there is uh, the Storm Spirit, but uh, I think the Swashbuckle just missed, right? It did miss, dude. That's, that kind of sucks, but I think eventually they would be able to get a kill onto him. There are Right, a smoke coming out from Entity. Uh, let's see if, which hero they're able to find. Uh, they would see the Enter Titan. There is... Uh, Oh, the Amplified Damage Rune Weaver is the first uh, to get uh, to start the fight. In fact, Spirit Breaker ends up losing this fight. This fight can be turned around from Entity if they want to do so. In fact, there is a big Vacuum Wall coming into... Uh, well, Vacuum Wall committed by uh, Darkseer. They would not be able to get any follow-up kills. In fact, it's only the Weaver who goes down first in the engagement. Um, 
respawn weaver is uh, going for uh, a lincoln spear next in fact he is the first here to be gone upon a lot of follow-up heroes coming from the side of beast coast they might now uh, not exactly sure if they will be able to commit on to the weaver does have his uh, time lapse available but would not have the opportunity to use it uh, but in fact it's the elder titan who was trying to help uh, his comrade in fact uh, um, but they did get the wisdom rune though uh, rolling thunder being committed by pangolier uh, doing a little bit of damage onto the dark seer he's still kind of high on hp but we were joining the fight means he they will have the physical damage in order to finish off uh, the dark seer i think uh, yeah beast coast are going to be really happy with that movement uh, in fact, no one could be in a little bit of trouble. There is we were chasing behind him and it is the Klepiner who holds him in his track now. No one does not have uh, a lot of mana to work with. Let's see how far he's able to get away. In fact, there is a Rubik and Pangolier in his tail. Uh, uses the entirety of his mana in order to walk away, go near the creeps and uh, well, get himself killed to the creeps. In fact, it's the Pangolier who get a 5x skill streak to its favor. They would be truly and well back in this game. Um, entity do not really want to give up Roshan. Rubik is the first hero they have their eyes set upon. Would be able to get the kill successfully. And uh, the dream choice of item. Uh, a charge coming by Spirit Breaker on to... Uh, the Weaver who is able to use a Glepner, uh stop, uh, stop well, the Spirit Breaker in his uh, way. But let's see if they're able to get a kill onto it. In fact, uh, there is a Rolling Thunder now being committed by Troll... Uh, by Pangolier who is able to walk away a little bit trying to do as much damage he can on the Spread Breaker but eventually he is the only hero who loses his life in the, the Ages of Immortal. Let's see Entity wants to really mount up a defense. In fact it's going to be Elder Titan who loses his life in the top area. Pangolier in case now. They don't have vision of Pangolier so would not be pursuing him any further or would not be able to pursue him, pursue him any further I guess. Right, but a move on to Storm Spirit, who has used his BKB, is in middle of three heroes currently. Let's see how much. But Weaver is doing good chunks of damage on to, uh, uh, well, the, the well, Spirit Breaker. Eventually, they should be able to bring down the hero. Uh, yes, they are able to do so with the uh, Invoker going into his Ghost form. Uh, we have heroes kind of farming uh, from Beast Coast as well. Weaver is in a decent uh, position. In fact, uh, the vision is because uh, on Rubik Rubik should not be long for this world, would eventually end up going down. In fact, the second hero is going to be the Elder Titan who falls. So another 1000 gold added uh, to their kitty uh, for Entity when um, just the two supports dying. Um, but at this point, uh, if you look at, um, you know, in totality of it, uh, how many times can you afford to die, correct? Uh, Pangolier could be in a little bit of trouble. There is, uh, well, um, ouch, that hurts. Uh, yeah, this is kind of uh, slipping away from the hands of Beast Coast. Uh, they really have to be careful how they shoot directly onto Spirit Breaker, who does not have BKB for the next engagement now, wherein Beast Coast have all their tools available to fight. Uh, Storm Spirit has jumped in. The first uh, hero he would like to target is going to be the Elder Titan, who walks to front in... Uh, uh, well, attempt on Roshan and want to come out of the base and fight. Uh, okay, so it's it's kind of still, you know, poking and prodding. Elder Titan back into the mix is kind of having Entity give it second thoughts. In fact, there is a smoke coming on to, uh, well, Bane, but he is still kind of okay. In fact, it is a dieback on... Uh, uh, Elder Titan, Troll Warlord has committed his BKB, is trying to chunk onto the Weaver, does have a successful net connection. We were able to use this time lapse so you walk, walk away, but no, it's going to be Storm Spirit who is able to come back and get a kill onto the Weaver. Uh, now, uh, a lot of heroes falling down from the side of Beast Coast and this fight is practically over. Uh, does have Rolling Thunder available on uh, Pangolier, but... Uh, not sure. If, if they want to start the fight, they had to do it before it, right? They cannot wait on uh, wait on being initiated upon uh, because th it just causes too much damage onto their heroes. In fact, uh, while Storm Spirit was single-handedly, uh, does 
end up losing here with Mara. In fact, he is going to stand his ground and fight against the Weaver. A nice vacuum coming out from Darkseer, pulling in through heroes. Uh, two BKBs committed uh, by Beast Coast onto the Weaver and uh, Invoker, but they really don't have enough damage in the tank and they are going to be facing Mega Krebs. Uh, Mega Creeps in the next, say, five seconds or so. In fact, Troll is so big that he's bashing the hell out of uh, Weaver currently, and they are able to get uh, a win on the side of Entity. So, okay, uh, the lineup from Beast Coast is not uh, is not bad by any. Right, so at the start of the game, we might have an attempt by Beast Coast onto Fishman, who was trying to be cheeky, was secure, uh, was securing the rune, but eventually, let's see who ends up taking the kill. Uh, in fact, it is uh, Shadow Demon who gets first blood to the range creep as well on Lumpy. So, uh, not too bad. Uh, in fact, we might see an attempt onto Fishman again, as we thought he had. Oh, it has been. Oh. Fishman is just dead, bro. Uh, one more last hit. Uh, Vitality is chasing him, but eventually, as he turns into the trees, is able to get another bash onto. Uh Don't let it get to you.
themselves up for success. Uh, kind of rotation coming out uh, from no one is able to find uh, Clockwork in the vicinity. Uh, Spirit Breaker charging towards him. And it should be the Clockwork who should eventually end up going down. Yes, he did. There are a couple of heroes coming out from Beast Coast now. They are after blood. Uh, they would be able to get some damage onto the well disruptor but I, I don't think no one is also going to survive this assault so a uh, nice movement coming out of beast coast able to grab two heroes in fact uh, they are going to end up losing the dark seer as well so so no grouping up uh, coming out from beast coast uh, it is in fact it is uh, weaver who is going to be charged and kill off so ages of uh, ages has already been taken from his hand Bangalore joins the party is able to disrupt a couple of heroes saving his weaver in the process let's see how much Bangalore uh, ends up being in trouble in in fact it is going to be the shadow demon who has been jumped by voice spread would be able to successfully assassinate him and uh, it is all losses uh, for the side of beast coast and they would not be able to get any return kill in fact clockwork yeah uh, he does end up going down in the hands of fishman that's so a long ways away even from completing um, his uh, lincoln's but there is a charge on to pangolier which is successfully completed let's see if there is any follow-up no there is no follow-up in fact they did not have vision on to uh, clockwork ends up going down but it is going to be uh, shadow demon who falls in the engagement in the meantime we see disruptor is the first hero to fall for entity but they have lost their dark sea but uh, a buyback coming out from shadow demon um, I don't think there is any further chase to be had for uh, Beast Coast, Beast Coast, since they are uh, already shot on one hero, but Shadow Demon did buy back. Um, they don't have vision of the Weaver in this area, so he should be able to do a little bit of damage. Uh, Spirit Breaker just able to kind of uh, well charge away from the engagement, but his mid laner is not going to be that lucky. Uh, in totality of it, uh, buy back tanky um, in the fight. Uh, another movement on to uh, Disruptor, but he is able to fall in that regard. And it is going to be, uh, well, uh, the Darkseer who is going to fall. In fact, I think Beast Coast have a really firm control on this match current uh, match at the moment. Uh, widespread with uh, two Astral Gate by the side of Beast Coast who are able to maintain that aggression. And I think the item which has kind of changed uh, this game altogether for them. In fact, uh, let's put it aside. Weaver was able to use his time lapse, able to get away from harm's danger, able to regain all of his HP. But it is the Morphling who does not have waveform. No, does uh, waveform does come off cooldown, able uh, to kind of walk away from the engagement. Slada could be in a lot of trouble. By the way, he's so damn tanky, and he's and you know, uh, entity are just not able to dish out enough damage and bring in. A um, next um, objective is probably going to be Roshan. Uh, both the teams are kind of nearby in the area. They did have vision of the Pangolier trying to blow him up. Uh, they don't have enough damage in order to blow up the Pangolier. Shadow Demon would end up paying with his life though. <laughs> but uh, Pangolier, uh, he is able to use his Rolling Thunder. It could be a lot of trouble for the side of Beast Coast since all their cores are still alive. And the heroes on Entity have to retreat in this engagement now. Uh, Darkseer uh, could be in a little bit of trouble. Sladar, there are two Sladars. Uh, one is, uh, well, our good old Morphling who is kind of owning this fight at the moment. Uh, Weaver has to commit his BKB in order to fight, but Sladar falling a little on HP. There is a charge coming out uh, from uh, the Spirit Breaker as well. Does not have vision on Weaver, but Weaver could be in a little bit of trouble. Is kind of stunned. Uh, Lincoln Spear coming in handy, able uh, to use the Shikuchi. Um, and they will have enough damage on the side of Entity. So at the end of it, you really have to commend the two cores uh, uh, and the execution part of it on the Entity, which was slightly better than Beast Coast, I would say. And uh, just the carry matchup between uh, uh, Pangolier and... Uh, oh, well, I mean the Morphling and uh, Weaver making the difference. Uh, Shadow Demon has been charged by Spirit Breaker. Uh, would eventually end up uh, getting the kill and in the meantime we see Pangolia going down model for another four minutes um, a satanic along with a butterfly and manta style is in no way uh, 
in harm of dying we were making an attempt on to uh, the weaver uh, against a rolling thunder has been committed as well but uh, uh, morphling has already morphed into a weaver and able to shikuchi away in the meantime uh, beast coast have lost three of their heroes uh, have they have committed a couple of buybacks as well uh, realizing this could be their last chance um, or last shot at this game um, but it just looks so difficult. How exactly are they wanting to initiate? Pangolia does not have a Rolling Thunder available for the next 54 seconds. They are doing chips and bits of damage. But in fact, it is Morphling who really does not care a crap and is fighting against four heroes from Beast Coast currently. Is able to bring down uh, the Clockwork as his uh, first target. And uh, yeah, uh, we're just waiting on the dieback for him. So, yep. Uh, at the end of it, uh, looking like uh, Entity does have one, this one in the bag. And the series uh, would go 2-0 in the favor of Entity. I, I really think they had a shot in this game, dude. Uh, but uh, unfortunately, they just did not have enough uh, damage in the tank to deal with the Morphling. Right, GG well played people. Uh, this ends the series 2-0 in the favor of Entity. Um, nice series, nice.